Did you know that when we fall in love, our brains release the same chemicals as when people take addictive drugs? Our bodies literally create a natural high that keeps us coming back for more. This chemical cocktail is just one of the many surprising ways our brains and bodies influence who we're attracted to and how we fall in love. What really happens in our minds and bodies when we experience attraction? And why do we fall for certain people while completely overlooking others? Today, I'm diving into 10 fascinating psychological facts about love and attraction that might forever change how you view your relationships. The science of attraction goes far deeper than just chemistry. It's actual chemistry happening in your brain right now. When we fall in love, our brains release a powerful cocktail of chemicals, including dopamine and oxytocin. Dopamine creates feelings of pleasure and reward, making us crave more time with the person we're attracted to. These dopamine levels actually peak during the early stages of romantic relationships, which explains why new love feels so intensely thrilling and all-consuming. This isn't just poetic language. It's your neurochemistry at work. This leads us to our second insight, the hormone oxytocin. Often called the love hormone or bonding hormone, oxytocin plays a crucial role in creating lasting bonds between partners. Research shows that couples with higher oxytocin levels are more likely to stay together long term. This same hormone is also responsible for the deep bond between mothers and babies. When we hug, kiss, or become intimate with someone, our bodies release oxytocin, strengthening our emotional connection and building trust. Have you ever wondered why red is considered the color of passion? Science has actually confirmed what we've intuitively known for centuries. Studies have documented something called the red attraction effect, where the color red significantly increases perceived attractiveness, especially when men are evaluating women. People wearing red or presented against red backgrounds are consistently rated as more attractive than the exact same people shown with other colors. Next time you're getting ready for a date, maybe consider adding something red to your outfit. Our attraction to specific facial features isn't random either. We're evolutionarily predisposed to find facial symmetry attractive because it signals good health and genetic quality. Researchers have found an overwhelming preference for symmetrical faces across cultures, particularly symmetry in the jaw area. This isn't conscious calculation. It's our biology quietly guiding our preferences toward potential partners with favorable genetic traits. You've probably heard the saying, opposites attract, but psychological research actually suggests the opposite. The similarity attraction theory demonstrates that we're much more likely to form relationships with people who resemble us in attitudes, values, and background. We naturally gravitate toward those who share our perspectives because it validates our worldview and creates a sense of understanding. This explains why couples often share political views, religious beliefs, or even simple preferences like movie genres. One of the most surprising facts about attraction involves a phenomenon called misattribution of arousal. In a famous study, men who met a woman on a scary suspension bridge reported feeling more attracted to her than men who met the same woman on a stable bridge. Why? Their hearts were already racing from fear, but they mistakenly attributed this physical arousal to attraction for the woman. Our bodies can't always distinguish between different types of excitement, which is why thrilling or adrenaline-pumping experiences can sometimes feel like attraction. If you've ever felt a connection through sustained eye contact, there's science behind that too. Extended eye contact between strangers can dramatically increase feelings of romantic attraction. This simple yet powerful fact underscores how nonverbal communication plays a crucial role in developing romantic feelings. Making eye contact stimulates the same brain regions associated with reward and pleasure, creating an intimate connection without saying a word. There's actually a neurological basis for the expression love is blind. When we're in love, the neural pathways in our brain responsible for critical judgment and negative emotions become less active. The amygdala, which normally activates during fear and social judgment, shows reduced activity when we're in love. This literally makes it harder for us to see negative qualities in the person we're falling for. 
Nature's clever trick helps relationships form by temporarily blinding us to potential red flags. Our attachment styles, formed in early childhood through our relationships with caregivers, profoundly influence how we approach adult romantic relationships. These styles fall into four main categories, secure, anxious, avoidant, and fearful avoidant. People with secure attachment feel comfortable with both intimacy and independence. Those with anxious attachment crave closeness and fear abandonment. Avoidant types prioritize independence and may distance themselves emotionally. Understanding your attachment style can provide valuable insights into your relationship patterns and help you build healthier connections. Perhaps most poetically, research has shown that when two people are deeply in love, their heart rhythms can actually synchronize. This physical phenomenon represents the profound emotional and physiological connection between loving couples. When couples sit quietly together, their heartbeats can fall into the same rhythm, a beautiful physiological manifestation of emotional connection. These 10 psychological insights reveal just how complex and fascinating human attraction really is. From the powerful hormones that create feelings of euphoria to the subconscious preference for facial symmetry, science continues to unravel the mysteries behind who we love and why. Next time you feel that spark of attraction or experience the warmth of love, remember there's an incredible symphony of psychological and biological processes at work. Your brain and body are performing an elaborate dance choreographed by evolution and shaped by your unique experiences. What aspect of the psychology of love and attraction surprised you most? Let me know in the comments. The facts presented in this video are based on psychological and neurological research from studies conducted at universities including Harvard, Oxford, and the University of California, as well as theories developed by prominent psychologists like Robert Sternberg and attachment theory pioneer John Bowlby.